Hey everybody and welcome to this Lumicray unboxing video. I'm Inkslaura123 and in this video I'm going to be unboxing the July Lumicray box. I am so excited to see what is inside and to show you all what's inside. So yeah, I hope you enjoy watching. If you do, please click like, comment, share and please subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. Also, don't forget to smash the notification bell to all notifications. Then you can see when I've uploaded new videos and also when I'm doing live streams. So if you don't know what Illumicrate is, it's a monthly subscription box with a bookish theme. So you're always getting a special exclusive books, normally signed, sprayed edges, that kind of thing, uh, exclusive to Illumicrate. And also you get bookish items, okay? So they could be from, you know, certain book fandoms or just general kind of, you know, bookish things that bookworms like me will like. So yeah. I'm going to open up the July box and show you what is inside. Let's do this. Okay. Okay. It's going to hold up the box for you. Oh, it's heavy. It's very heavy, actually. There we go. So, this is the You Win or You Die July 2023 box. You win or you die. <laughs> um... So yeah, I don't normally like read the leaflet until the end and then I kind of go through what everything is, etc. Um, so I'm going to put that aside for now, but I will bring that back. Okay, right, let's delve in. So the first thing I see, fire is catch. Oh, it's a towel. Okay. I've not had that in a Luma Crate box before. All right. Um, Luma Crate artwork by Kelly Chong. Oh, Awesome. This has been inspired by The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Oh my god. Love The Hunger Games. I love the books. I love the films. So, oh wow. Okay. Well, let's open it up and see what it's like. Sorry, it's a bit noisy. <laughs> okay. I'll just show you the front there as well, actually. There we go. Oh, this is exciting. This is excited. <laughs> All right, so, oh wow, this is really pretty colors. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, oh, it feels really nice material. I'm just gonna turn this around there. Hold on. <laughs> there you go. You can kind of see it, but not very well. What I'll do, I'll take a picture of the tail like laid out, and then add it at the end of the video, so you can have a good look then properly. It's really hard to like show you otherwise, but um, yeah, it's really pretty colours. Oh, there she is in the middle. So yeah, I love the colouring of it, that kind of peach and blue and the trees and stuff. But yeah, as I say, I will take a photo and show you in detail what it looks like laid out flat. But yeah, I really, um, let me try and, oh, okay, yeah, so it's like peachy, pinky, blue oh, wow i love the trees yeah this is really really cool so at the end of the video carry on watching and i will include a photograph of this but yeah really cool i've never had a towel before in a luma crate i like the fact they do you know bring out different things and stuff i know some of the things they do kind of again and again but with a different book or theme um but this is yeah this is pretty cool i love that okay cool 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 well we're off to a good start uh Oh, I think I know what this one is. I think I remember, because um, sometimes on their um, Instagram they do give like little hints and stuff what you're going to get. Um, so, lovely box, first of all, with the pretty flowers. So I think this should be, if I can open it, it should be, if I remember, teacups. Mugs, teacups, like little teacups. Oh, just broke the box. Oops. Right, hold on. Yeah, so these little teacups in there. There's two of them. So, I don't know. Oh, they're not the same. They're similar, but they're different colours. So, we've got this one here. They are very well packaged, by the way. Um, I have seen a few people in like other Illumicrate vid uh, videos that I watch, you know, unboxings, that they get like mugs, cups and whatever, and they say, oh, you know, they're broke and they've not been packaged well. These have been pack packaged really well. They've got the bubble wrap quite a small box to keep them in nice and tight so that's good oh there's no handle that's weird 
okay. <laughs> I know that people do drink tea like this, so they kind of hold it like that, but oh, it's weird with it. I'm like, where's my handle? Um, but yeah, really pretty flowers. So you've got that one there. And this is like the pink one. I do like the pink one better, I think. Like the colour in this more me. It doesn't really look pink in this light, but I can assure you it is. Oh, honestly, it is. Um, but it's, it, they are really pretty. Got Lou McRae underneath there. Um, but it's just weird without the, the handle. But I will try it. I will try and have tea in this. <laughs> so you've got those. Right, what's this? Like a little pouch. Oh, that's pretty. A little pouch with the open book there. It's pretty cool. Lovely, like gorgeous, like dark red kind of velvet vibes. Um, what's inside? Oh, it's like uh, shiny silver inside. Ah, oh, okay. I thought this were tarot cards for a minute. I was like, oh, but no, they're guess the character card game. So I assume these go in here, maybe? I don't know. Um, two sets of 20 character cards. 20 mystery cards. Okay, so here's the aim of the game. So ask questions to guess your opponent's mystery character before they guess yours. Each player gets one set of... This sounds a bit like guess who. I wonder if it's like guess who. Uh, shuffle the orange mystery cards and each player takes one without revealing which one. I have to give this a go with Nathan, my fiancé. Because uh, we do like a bit of, you know, playing games. Um, take a turn asking your question. It really does sound like guess who. You know the old guess who when you like... I don't know, have they got uh, red hair, have they got glasses, and you put the counters down, and it's the elimination of who it is. Guess the character. That sounds pretty cool. Should we open them? Have a look at the artwork on them. <laughs> I'm excited. So I assume these go in here, maybe. I don't know. I saw that, and I was like, I don't know why I thought, like, tarot cards or something. Like, I don't know. Anyway. Right, Okay. Oh, I don't know why these are giving me tarot card vibes. I know they're not tarot cards, they're a card game. Oh wow, these are cool. These are nice mystery card. Okay, so they've all got different like character names and stuff. Darrow, Elias. Oh, that one's pretty. Evangeline, look at that one. Really pretty. That is beautiful. Oh, really nice. These are lovely. Really like these. So there's all different colour ones. There's like these orange ones, um, like a teal colour, uh, purple. I don't know. I have to get Nathan to have a look with me, but it sounds a little bit like Guess Who, but in a card game. So it's pretty cool. I don't know if these are characters from a book as such, or if they're just random fantasy characters. I'll have to look that up on the little, um, oh, booklet. But I'll do that in a second. Right, okay, so that's cool. That's something different as well. I, I like the fact that they do different stuff. That's cool. Okay, and the little pouch is really nice. Um, yeah, I mean, I do read tarot cards and angel cards and stuff, so I could pop those in there if not. Or maybe I'll just keep the cards in there. These are really cool. I like those. They're really cool. Okay, now we get to the book. So, now I have to say, I have been hit and miss with these little great books. Sometimes I've really, like, really enjoyed the books. Other times... Mm -mm, just not my thing, okay? I'm gonna be honest. Now, I did have an inkling it was gonna be this one. Some people kind of give spoilers online what they think it's gonna be. Sometimes the Luma Crate are now kind of saying what the book's gonna be, so you get the option of kind of opting out if you don't want the book, you know. But yeah, it's the one that I thought, but obviously I haven't looked at it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, look at that. That is gorgeous. Sprayed edges, yeah, you've got to have sprayed edges. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Like black and gold. Let's have a look what's under the dust jacket. I get really excited about looking what's under the dust jacket. Maybe I'm a complete nerd. Oh, that is pretty. Oh, it's like gold. Look at this. Can you see that? Really nice. <laughs> oh, that is gorgeous. Yeah, I'm loving that. It's a little bit of a. at the top there. Can you see that? Uh, it's gonna happen in it but it is really pretty I love those sprayed edges as well so I think this has got like an Egyptian theme um, I can't remember if this is a standalone or a, or a series or duology I'll have to look at that in a minute but 
um, get ready for the unmissable tale of Shattered Kingdoms, Forbidden Magic and Cunning Royals in Sarah Hashim's Egyptian-inspired epic fantasy debut. Oh, it's a debut. Awesome. Um, da, 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 da. At 10 years old, the heir of Jassad, I hope I've said that right, Jassad, uh, fled a massacre that consumed her entire family. 15, she buried her first body, and at 20, her carefully crafted lies are starting to crumble. Um, so yeah, it's called the Jassad Heir, A Queen Rises from the Ashes. That is a really cool cover, and I'm fascinated by stuff like this, so it sounds really cool, like, uh, you know, an Egyptian fantasy uh, let's have a look at the back, so there's any artwork. Oh, there's a picture of the author. So this is Sarah, sorry, Sarah Hashim. Uh, she's an American Egyptian writer from Southern California. Uh, da, da, da. She spent she spent many sunny days holed up indoors of a book. Uh, Sarah's love for fantasy and magical realms emerged during the two years her family lived in Egypt. When she isn't busy naming stray cats in a neighborhood after her favorite authors, Sarah can be found buried under coffee ring notebooks at uh, uh, S. Hashim right so there she is that's awesome oh that's really cool like, I really I'm excited to read this one um, as I say it's been hit and miss with some of these Olympic Quake books but I, I do I do like the sound of this one um, I've heard some nice things about it so we are going to go in I've given you a more detailed look at the book there um, yeah really really cool really cool okay so now we're going to look at the leaflet you win or you die <laughs> all right uh, oh it says here what um august theme is it? even though we're actually in august uh, anyway but this this box is the july box but we're now in august so um august box will probably turn up like the beginning of september ish um apparently august is going to be hidden magic so that's intriguing but we'll look at that in a minute let's concentrate on the july box all right um okay so let's have a look here all right fire is catching tail that is there. Um, dry off with this beautiful towel. Artwork inspired by the Hunger Games. Artwork by Kelly Chong. So that is that. As I say, I will include a photograph at the end of the video so you can see it properly. But trust me, I think it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, I could even use it as a backdrop in my videos. <laughs> I know it probably sounds really odd, but I do. I, I don't use green screen or nothing like that. I'm not tech savvy. So what I tend to do is hang like, well, at the moment I've got this like, um, I move there it's like stars and trees and stuff um or i've got like i, I sometimes use like um duvet covers like mattress you know like covers um shower curtains honestly i'm not too fussy as long as it looks something different behind me than just this look hold on it's like a chest of drawers <laughs> so that i think that'd look pretty behind hold on example what am i doing i don't know just imagine if you will as my backdrop anyway i know it's the wrong way around but anyway you get the idea right you get the gist of it so that is the towel um i've lost the leaflet i found the leaflet okay right so that's the towel next up we have the guess the character card game ah there we go our take on guess who by the way i was always good at guess who so I hope I'm going to win this as well. Uh, this card game features stunning artwork with many of our all-time favourite characters. Okay, so these characters are from books. So maybe one that I have a good look through, I might recognise some of the characters. I don't know if it says on there what book they're from, I don't know. Oh, hold on, I recognise this one, Gideon. I haven't read this book. I'm really intrigued. If anyone's read the book, I can't remember the exact title, but it's like Gideon something. Let me know what it's like, So I'm really intrigued by that book. It's on my want to read list. Uh... Lou, Maya, Malik. These are really pretty. Look at this one. This is Ning with her her tea. Honestly, these are stunning. I'm going to sit and look through these later because they're absolutely... Oh, wow. Parissa holding her books. These are really... Cool. Like, I'm going on about this, but I really, really like this. Rin, that sounds familiar. You see, I read so many books. I do end up forgetting names of characters and what, what books they're from. You know, so just i don't know i think they should have kind of put what books they're from maybe <laughs> i don't know oh i'm such a minor but anyway they are really really cool really nice so i'm looking forward to play that um and that is from uh po po Lots, i think po this is artwork by po designed by jane tibbets chatty nora uh, all right next up we have the uh the teacups the aromatic magic stemless teacups an item uh never included before so these are new these stemless teacups inspired by magics ah okay magic steeped in poison are perfect for your tea drinking 
Um, yeah, I've not read that book. I've heard it's really good. And once again, it's a book that is on my on a read list. So, okay. I do like a cup of tea, actually. I used to always drink coffee and then, I don't know, I kind of stopped drinking coffee and now I've gone on to like tea. And I love going out for like tea, like tea for two and pouring it out in a little teapot and stuff. Anyway, but no, these are really pretty. It's going to be weird because like there's no handle. <laughs> but I don't know. We'll see. But this one's pretty. And this one's pretty. Anyway. So yeah, that's what they are, and they are from Jessica Lee, at Jessica Lee Art. Uh, and yeah, as a book, as I say, I want to check out is Magic Steve to Poison. Next up, we have Guild of Knowledge Embroidered Pouch. Uh, it's been designed by Alice Maria Power, at Alice Maria Power. Keep your... T I knew it. I knew it. Uh, keep your tarot or playing cards safe with this embroidered pouch inspired by the final strife. I think I've heard of that book, but I'm not. I'm not ready to No. I think it's a fantasy kind of book. But, um, okay. So, yeah. No, that is cool. As I said, I thought you could put tarot cards in there. Or these actual cards. I'll probably just keep them in there. I don't know. But then again, I have got a nice deck of tarot cards that get a little bit kind of messy and stuff. So, that might keep them tidy. Putting them in the little pouch like that. That is a really cool pouch. I love the way, like, the book kind of opens up. And it's, it's like magic coming out of it. Anyway. But that's really cool. Okay. So, that is that. Um, did I say is that a spy? Yeah, Alice Mary Power. Okay, so they are the items, and then you've got obviously the featured book, which I've told you about. So let's have a little looky. Um, information about the book so it says exclusive edition features exclusive cover, foil embossing on the hardback, um, by Chatty Nora, digitally printed edges, end paper artwork, and is signed by the author. Uh, so that's that. There was also a uh, read along if you want to do that. I don't do the read along thing. Um, I think it's because I'm such a fast reader. I've tried to do read with me's and I just, I don't know, I just storm ahead and yeah, I just read by myself like a loner. <laughs> I'm just a loner who reads. Um, bah, 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 bah. Anything else? I'm trying to see if it's a standalone or a series. I'll have to look that up on Goodreads. By the way, talking of Goodreads, if you're on there, come and follow me on Goodreads. My link's down below. Um, I don't know. I can't see if it's a standalone. I'll have to look it up on Goodreads. But anyway, I don't know. That sounds really cool, actually. I do like the sound of this book, as I say. So, yeah, I'll give it a go. Okay, so let me quickly say about August. So, August theme is hidden magic. August theme is hidden magic. If you look around, you'll find magic hidden in most unexpected of places. Uh, feature book this month is a YA fantasy. First, an exciting new series in a world where magic is forbidden and mysterious plague is spreading across the land. A young woman is struggling to hide her powers, but when she gets caught up with a secret mag magical organization, oh, I like that, uh, she has no choice but to embrace them and restore peace to the realm. We love this story, full of sweeping romance and lush, complex world building. Okay. Uh, Lynn McCray exclusive edition is signed by the author, features all exclusive hardback edition of the UK paperback, full colour printing on the on the hardback. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, okay, items this month. This is what I like. I like to know what items are. Okay, items this month are inspired by Priory of the Orange Tree, which I've never read because it looks massive. Um, I think the story sounds really cool and stuff, but... When I actually went in, because I remember, all, I swear this is a true story, I ordered it from the library, because I thought everyone's going on about it, so I want to check it out, right? Go to the library to pick it up, you know, your order's here, ready to collect, and it's like that, like, big, huge, and I was like, oh, oh no, oh no, I don't like big books, big books scare me, um, but I know it's supposed to be really good, so anyway, that's that. Uh, also from Sorcery of Thorns, which I actually have next door, I actually got that in a charity shop the other day, so that's handy, um... Uh, house, oh, House in the Carillion Sea. See, I really need to reread that. I really love TJ Clune's um, In the Lives of Puppets. I read that a few months ago. Without a doubt, it's going to be one of my books of the year because it was absolutely fantastic. Really recommend if you haven't read it. Um, and I'm thinking because now I've got used to his writing style and characters and just the way he is, like with his, with his books and that, I need to reread um, the Carillion Sea one because I'd be honest, I didn't like it the first time I read it. I had a DNF it, so I was not feeling it. But after reading Lives of Puppets, I'm like, hmm. So yeah, at some point, I will get that and, and check it out. Because I think I might like it more this time around. Hopefully. Uh, as well as an official... What's this? As well as officially licensed... <gasps> yes! Okay, finally. Finally. Finally, I'll get my, my dreams come true. As well as an officially licensed The Mortals, Mortal Instruments item. <laughs> 
Okay, so if you, if you don't know, you've probably guessed by now, I'm a huge, huge fan of all things more instruments. You know, I absolutely love Shadowhunters, um, Cassandra Clare. To me, without doubt, is my best ever, like my favourite author of all time. I love her books. I've read every single book in that series. I own every single book in the series, including the little extras and things like that. But, ooh, oh, I wonder what that's going to be. Now, that excites me. That excites me. Um, anyway, so uh, I have to pick now. It's the time where I have to pick what I like best and least. Um, first of all, yeah, the book looks really cool. I really do like these cards. I think they're really cool. Like, I love the artwork on them and stuff. Please let me know what Gideon's like, because I really need to read that. Um, I love this towel, though. This towel is so pretty. It's so pretty. Um, the, the cups, are, you know, they've got no handle thing, but they are really cute. Um, do you know what? I honestly don't know. I think I'm going to go with the cards, because they're just so, like, like, the artwork on them is so cool. I just wish they would have put, like, what books they're from, but there's nothing. I suppose you could probably look them up on Google. Mind you, if I put Lila on Google, you're never going to know. Um, or Lou, <laughs> just put Lou in, like, you know, but, um, no, I really like this, this is really cool, oh, that one's cool, look at that, she looks, she looks a bit badass, Mia, look at that one, yeah, I really like these, these are really cool, I'm really excited to actually play a game with these as well, um, I know Rin, what is Rin in, is she from Lee Bardagoo book or something, I don't know, anyway, so they would probably be my favourite with the book. But yeah, no, it's a nice box. Overall, I'm, I'm quite happy with that box. I think the thing with Illumicrate, I've, I've been doing it um, just under a year now. And every month it's like hit and miss. Sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, that's really good. Um, other times I'm like, meh. But um, that's the gamble of it. That's the fun of it. And sometimes I've had a few months that I've not enjoyed it. I thought, should I give it up? Like, should I just cancel the subscription? Save myself some money? But I know, I know, the minute I give it up, by like the month I say, no, that's it, no more, they'll bring out something really amazing. And look, next month will be the Illumicrate, uh, the Illumicrate, the more instrument stuff. So, you see what I mean? I'm really excited to see what they're going to do for, like, October, like, Halloween-y stuff. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, maybe, like, a gothic -y, spooky book in some way and spooky items. I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know in the comments what you like the best and least. And, uh, if the book looks good, if it looks, you know, your cup of tea, talking about cup of tea, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm impressed. The girl is impressed. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget, check out my other channel, Minx Laura 123 ASMR. Over on that channel, I do videos to help people like myself with anxiety and insomnia so if you want to help sleeping relaxing chilling then check out my other channel also uh, all the links down below to my social media platforms so twitter instagram tiktok goodreads if you're a bookworm um and also have a throne wish list if you care to spoil me or treat me all these links i'm talking about down below uh anyway Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, let me know if you get a Luma Crate or if you get any other kind of book subscription boxes or any other subscription boxes of any kind because I just, I, I love reading your comments. I love it when people interact with me and stuff. So please get involved and leave me a comment. All right, everyone, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.